TFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently got all the indices trading lower, with the exceptions being the NASDAQ 100, which is up 39 points, and the NASDAQ Composite up 32. The Dow is off 180. It's down a half a percent. The S&P down 8, nearly less than two-tenths of a percent. The uh, Russell's off 7. That's three-tenths of a percent to the downside. Gold is off about 35 bucks. Silver down 30, uh, 42 cents, trading at 24.33. Lights Recruit is off a little over a buck, trading at 68.21. Let's go spend some time taking a look at our indice charts out here. So give me a moment to change uh, screens. We'll go take a look in the uh what we'll print up is the dow in the upper left hand corner so although it's not printed here you'll just have to believe me um there is an a to b equals c there is a sell the d point that formed right here on this uh, trading day that generated this bull sash candle bear sash candle i should say that was on that was confirmed on august the 17th topping pattern in place s p 500 td9 count top that was on last Thursday when that got formed. NDX 100, let me just uh, pull this back here. It also has a TD9 count top, but if price closes above 15, 696, 42, and you're at 15, 690 right now, 15, 696, 42, that pattern will get negated. If that pattern gets negated, that is a strong upward momentum move to the upside signal from the NDX 100. That would be no surprise because when we take a look at Apple, we don't see a top in place there. The Russell 2000 also had a TD9 count top. Its oscillator and change line changed colors. The Russell 2000 has a date with that oscillator and change line. Currently printing at 2257. I'm not saying that's where price gets to, but you'd want to watch that pattern because a test and rejection would be the bullish signal inside the Russell 2000. The semiconductor index, I don't really have any kind of a topping pattern out here. Not one that I could claim. Looks like a consolidation, but price above its green oscillator and change line, that is still bullish out here. The Dow Jones Transports has a bottom pattern, Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottom out here. I don't really have anything else. The XAU, nothing there to report on. Oh, that's the VIX. I'm sorry. The VIX is right now below its 50 day exponential moving average. And the XAU it still has its Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottom that's in place. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White, with the Power Trading Hour. He's up next. Have a terrific Tuesday. Thanks so much for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday. Have a great afternoon. The reality.